this is the first year of the Tech for Good Awards and it's my fond wish that this goes on to become one of the premier awards in India because this is really something that will restore people's faith in the fact that the advances that mankind makes always makes our lives better. This evening, we come together not only to celebrate innovation, but also to acknowledge the profound responsibility that comes with it. One thing I can tell you, technology is going to be the biggest, the biggest disruptor in our life in coming years. That's for sure. And I think there are two ways of looking at it. Does it provide opportunities for organizations or is it a threat? The key thing to understand is that AI is as innocent as a child. Whatever you feed it, it will learn that. So I think we need to be watchful that, you know, the way I look at it is, think of parenting. Humanity is the parent. We have taught it whatever we have taught it. So it is our responsibility as a parent to make sure that it continues in the right direction and not take us in the wrong direction. My brother seems to be my litmus test. I remember uh, two years ago around this time, we were standing in the kitchen and he was like, have you seen this thing, ChatGPT? And we were using it to write poems to my dad in the kitchen. And now uh, a couple years later, he is, uh, he's a firefighter and he uses it as a tool to help him write up the, the call notes. And I'm just thinking to myself, I know without a doubt a year, two years from now, he, we are both going to be using it in ways we totally can't even imagine. One of our challenges as we're learning here, of course, is there are biases built into the current ecosystem. You see biases in funding, you know, uh, uh, in particular uh, centered around big universities, etc. One of our challenges is to now think about how AI can help us break those barriers better. So we're looking at technology to think about how to reach out to people, redesign programs and even redesign ecosystem support as a nonprofit. So it's a very exciting kind of uh, is for us. I think you have to look at disruptions in technology from an opportunistic point of view. Of course there are fears, even AI will have a lot of fears, but I think we have to embrace technology. For India, speech is very different than for the West. For the West, speech-enabled Alexa interfaces are just cool features. Hey Alexa, change the volume of my TV. But in India, speech is about inclusion. And speech first apps are going to really transform the way the common people of uh, tier three cities and villages will get onto the AI bandwagon. These are golden times for India if we can uh, you know, really capitalize on our uh, demographic dividend and the talent and the opportunity that we have uh, in solving our problems. While I believe in technology completely, completely enough to uh, come out of retirement after a 40-year banking career to get into technology, uh, you can imagine uh, how much I believe that this is going to be the backbone of every single enterprise going forward and how it's going to really and truly help a nation like ours that cannot be served by brick and mortar increase and improve their lifestyles. And thereafter, of course, you know, the fact that this can be used for the power of good, this award really and truly means a lot to me. I'm really happy to be able to sponsor it alongside of Mint. Congratulations again to all the winners. Thank you all very much.